At 30, we're hearing from outraged parents after a daycare dressed up little children in blackface. Those parents say the daycare director told them it was done to celebrate Black History Month. And now some say their children will not be going back. A local 10's Laren Livingston is, has more now on this developing story. Laren, this is kind of unbelievable. And Christy, we're talking babies. The mom, a black woman with whom I spoke earlier today, is married to a Greek man. She has two young children. They're multiracial. One of them just turned one. The other is almost three. This preschool here used to be their preschool. Not anymore. <sighs> it was the exhale for me. For her, it was the audacity. Anger, disbelief, just in 2023, is this the, re I mean, this can't be real. Courtney Politis says she's never had a problem with studio kids at Little River. That was until a few days ago. One of my closest friends contacts me, whose son's in the class, and it's like, you won't believe what they just did today. We're told these photos were shared on the preschool's messaging app, captioned Black History Month. We understand these kids are as young as two in this class, dressed up like a construction worker, a police officer, a little doctor in the background. All of them in blackface. I immediately text the owner mm. with the pictures, and I'm like, this is racist. And she proceeds to respond back with, I'm sorry, question mark. I don't understand what's racist. Mom says the photos were shared on Friday, February 3rd. She met with the preschool's director the following Monday. 180 change, super apologetic. And from what I understand, she even told us over 40, 50 families contacted her over the weekend. No one answered when we stopped by. Studio Kids owner and director said no comment when I called. But in a message to parents, she writes, we have not intended to offend anyone, and we are very sorry about any inconvenience. As a mama bear, I'm not going to let this slide. Politis has pulled her children from the school. She says other parents, most of them not black, have done the same, something she says she appreciates. I don't have the luxury of ignorance, and I'm glad that other parents are being proactive and not being part of this, and hopefully for a better future for everyone. And no word tonight on if that teacher who was in this classroom responsible for this has been reprimanded in any way, but we did understand from that parent that we spoke with that there was another message that went out saying that that director of the school here spoke with teachers and staff members to go over, quote, several ethical and multicultural education points. We're in Miami, Laren Livingston, Local 10 News.